I'm going to uh, walk through a quick way to find SVGs and then create SVG files. I've noticed on the message boards that a lot of people are uh, seem kind of limited by their options in terms of searching for SVGs and um, the availability of SVG files. Um, an SVG file is very basic. It's just some code um, telling you where certain points are. That's, that's all an actual SVG is. Um, there are literally millions of them online, so I'm going to uh, look. So I'm going to show how to how to find some. Um, I'm going to actually lower this down here. Um, so if I go to Google and I type in, you know, let's say uh, lightning, lightning SVG. Nothing really shows up. You can go to images, um, but it's just not great. So, so here's the trick. Go back. So let's start with just a normal Google search, and you type in lightning, um, and then you type in file type colon SVG, and what that does is it says, "Hey, there's no results." So I, I've done this. A ton in the past and uh, SVG files used to come up uh, within <clears throat> normal Google search results so something's changed in the last year or two or three I don't know but something's different so you actually have to do it this way so you type in the file type um, attribute but then once you click on images then it will show you files now if you'll notice uh, <clears throat> it just says lightning up here under file type is SVG files so now you can type in uh, you know whatever trout I saw someone mentioned so here's all these SVG files um, you know based uh, that are, that are uh, every one of these files is an SVG basically so uh, but yeah, again, so if I come here and I type in um, um, oak tree, and if I go into images here, the tools type, um, I can't actually find the, the, the SVG search. Uh, so I actually don't know. I think something, again, something definitely changed. Maybe it's under advanced search. Um, anyway, I'm not going to look at it for now, but I, I know those steps work. So if you go into, again, to walk through them again, you go to, um, uh, what was it? Let's see, oak tree um, file type SVG. It says cannot be found, but then you click on images, and now here we have these files. So. Let's say I'm going to make, um, I mean, these are really detailed. And again, there's millions of them. Let's say something like this. This is graphic. Uh, now, you, And the other thing is you have to be careful because this is people's art. Uh, this is their livelihood. This is their, you know, it's not necessarily all open source. Um, so you need to be very careful um, and be respectful, obviously, of, of uh, people's work. But... So again, this is just kind of a process. If you're using someone's logo or someone's, you know, custom graphic, they're, they're, just because you can get access to it doesn't mean it's it's legal. So, but anyway, this one, for example, I so I click on it, and um, and I do view image, and if I come up here in the URL, I see at the end it's it is clearly an SVG. So then all I do again, I'm in a browser, so I just hit command or I'm in I'm on a, a Mac um, or go up to file um, just to save page as and you'll see it'll save as um, oak as an SVG let's do it on my desktop save that and if I pull up my desktop you'll see I have oak somewhere right here so there we go. 
So that's uh, the first way to um, basically just, again, there's, there's, there's millions and millions of files and, and options here. So um, that should not be a limitation um, to you getting, getting, you know, file. You can also do this with, with company logos. Um, um, Airbnb logo, right? And I'm already in this SVG file, so I'm good here. So then I click on this, go to view image, download it right to my downloads for some reason, but um, um, but here it is. I, I mean, I'll share, but you can see it's the SVG file. So, okay, so another way to do it is, um, hold on here. Oh yeah, so to create your own SVG. So, okay, so that's the way to find existing SVGs. In addition to that, you can create, um, so yeah, let's do uh, mountain range. Let's say I have an image that I want to create. I want to make my own SVG. Um, I'm going to use Illustrator to do this. Um, so I'm going to say, just to make it easier, um, illustration. So yeah, one of these will work. Um, let's do some other words. You can try, you can do il uh, outline. You can do um, um, silhouette. Did I do that one? Anyway. So there's, there's a bunch of these you can do. Um, a bunch of different words, but let's say we get one that we like. Okay, so something like this, and I do view image, and, I, and um, I'm holding the control and going in here and doing open image in new tab, so just so I can get to this, you know, the actual image, and here I am. Um, so, but this is a, a, a bitmap. This is a JPEG um, or something like that, and you can see there's some weird watermarking in here. Um, generally, you want to go for a two-color image, but um, th th that's, that's probably the safest. But um, So I'm going to come here. I'm going to uh, copy this image. So I'm going to go into Adobe Illustrator. It's free 30-day trial. Um, I think it's like 20 bucks a month uh, if you use it. Um, I use it for work, so I, I have it all the time. But so I basically come in here, I make a new file, do whatever, doesn't matter the file size, I zoom out, I'm going to paste that image in here. And again, if I zoom in, you'll see this is, this is a bunch of pixels. So this is kind of a quick and dirty hack um, uh, without using any other additional software. This is, again, if you're, if you're in the, the kind of the web space or creative space, you'll probably have access to this tool anyway so that's why this is I'm showing this but if you come into Illustrator here it is I click on this my, my normal tool selection tool um, I hit which is V the letter V as in Victor um, you'll see up here as I select that image I get this image trace um, option here so I click on that there's all these different options. If if your image is you know three, four, or five colors, whatever, you kind of want to get whatever close to it. Um, this black and white logo again. If you go for a very contrasty, just kind of a vector-ish looking shape, like a like a like this kind of like um, like a two-color image, you can go into this black and white logo, and it and it keeps the fidelity pretty pretty well. So I click on this, and you'll see it already converted. Um, it got rid of that watermarking. Sometimes you have to some tricks with that. But then once you do that, now if I hit if I show paths, you'll see the paths aren't there yet. Um, that's Command Y, by the way, to show paths. But then if I click Expand, now it just made these paths. Um, the next step is to grab this direct selection tool, select um, the the color you want to delete, the white. Come to select, go to same. Fill color that selects all the white. I hit delete. I hit select all, which is command A. I scale this down. There's this. I'm going to get rid of this. 
text here and let's say we'll get rid of the rivers too just because we can and there we go so now we have this mountain range um, you can now again come in I, I stole this image I found it right um, but now I can come in and tweak it if I need to select points fill in you know do things like this and um, and again the, the whole thing about can you steal images you don't even want to steal them you don't want to you want you want to whatever you're making the whole idea behind it, having a shaper is you can make custom art and custom uh, uh, things so you should really kind of strive to spend some time in my opinion to, to, to get something awesome and, and make it right so um, and, get, and make something your own um, anyway you, so here we go so I'm just gonna save this I do save as which is shift command s um, save on the desktop and then I can save as an SVG now and let me show you one thing here so I'm gonna do save so SVGs have a ton of different settings and everything and my experience so far I've loaded probably 10 or 12 different SVG types onto the shaper so far and almost all of them are uh, like I, I was with web stuff you kind of have to be finicky with how the paths are laid out you want everything a compound path all the, you know a bunch of stuff but it shaper seems to just kind of be cool with anything I'm going to click on this real quick and show you the SVG code um, but basically here it is there's all this junk in here but really all that matters is this right here this path um, and this is all the 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 um, the instructions to make that mountain range. But um, point is like that's is basically I think all the origin is doing is looking for that uh, path. And if it has it, there are there are plenty of exceptions. I mean, there's different types of tags um, in an SVG, but in general, this this process I just showed you will result in a um, path tag. And this will work. So then I hit OK. Um, come back to my desktop. What did I say? It was untitled for. I think. And there it is, SVG. So now I zoom in and you'll see that it's crystal clear. Anyway, so from this, hopefully you realize, yeah, you can go find literally millions and millions of SVGs. Again, whether or not they're legal to use is that's a separate issue, but um, at least you can use them as a reference point or a starter point as you get used to kind of working with those files and then um, and then yeah you can go create your own from any image notice i didn't use a photograph there's all kinds of other tricks and stuff you can get to but in general you want the look to look for images that kind of began as vectors um to, to you know to really get them to work to, to really get the results that you're going to kind of want so anyway hope that helps